Hey, good morning, Journey family and friends. Good morning, praying people of God. I'm once again on a prayer walk uh, here on the Journey by Grace campus, and I am certainly aware of what today is, what it represents. Today is the anniversary of 9-11, and there are memories that all of us have and then of course there are painful memories that certain ones of us have because of the the possibility or the reality of what has happened to your family families that perhaps you don't know or do know that have lost lives as a result of that horrendous attack on America so today we're going to go right into a place of prayer offering to them our support by praying for comfort and then we're going to pray for this country and everything that is impossible for us to do but the bible says that with god all things are possible and he hasn't given up on the United States of America, therefore we shouldn't either. I'm speaking this Sunday at Journey by Grace and the Lord laid on my heart a message that is entitled, Not on My Watch. Well, that can be unpackaged in a lot of different ways and I think it's perhaps what so many of you are saying. I just returned from a conference in South Carolina with over 200 brothers and sisters, more like 200 prayerful heat-seeking missiles that drink from a deep well known as the Holy Spirit. And they are all aware of America's condition, but they've not taken the posture of sit back and let others do. They've taken the posture of I will step up and be the one. That's the posture I've decided to take so many years ago. I've decided that I don't want to be an outer court Christian. I want to be in the inner court. And I promise you, as you step in nearer and nearer to the holiness and presence of God, transformation occurs to you. Not only for the deeper needs, the deeper wants, the deeper satisfaction of Jesus dwelling, living in you, it's also that there is a deeper awareness of things around you. It's things that we've got to be participating in. And like right now, we're on this prayer walk together. We're participating in something that is going to change someone or alter the course of a nation's leader as we, as we pray. It is, our prayers are gonna bring comfort, peace, help, hope, love to those suffering today. You see, on our watch, we can do as Jesus asked the disciples before he himself went to a terrible, terrible place with brutal people who cared less about truth and they desired what they wanted as their outcome. And that was in the Garden of Gethsemane. We are truth people because we believe in the spirit of truth. And that is Jesus himself. That is Holy Spirit himself. That is God our Father himself. They embody the spirit of truth. We are truth people. Truth people don't hide from realities. They don't hide from facts. They don't hide because fear takes its cold dark grip of and arms it around us no we break off and we step up so enough said about that let's go to let's go and pray and let's call on the name of the lord heavenly father we thank you for this day we thank you that it is the day that you have made and in it we shall rejoice and be glad 
Father, we put our hope in you, not in man. We put our trust in you, not in a governmental plan. We put our eyes upon you and not in a personality or figure. Lord, you are the one whom can bring change to nations as well as an individual. There is nothing you cannot do. We call upon you, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord of heaven's armies, the Lord of angel armies, the Lord who created all things and all things were created by him and for him. You, O oh God, we call upon today and we pray for your comforting peace and grace to be with every man, woman, and child that reflects on this day in a certain pain and agony of which they personally experienced because of the consequences of 9-11, because of the, the buildings collapsing, people's lives were lost. And then the stark reality of pain and suffering for these whom we pray for. Father, today we ask support them, care for them, provide for them, meet their needs, Lord, and most importantly, meet their needs in their heart so that there will be a, a freedom of forgiveness, a willingness to, to approach you and call upon you, and may, may their eyes be open to your continued grace 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 be with them and grace be upon them father we pray as well today for the state of our country it is it, it is in peril it is in, in 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 a wrecked condition heavenly father you are the only one who can bring masterful and complete perfect change to it father you birthed this country even as you did others. And your eyes have been on the United States of America from its inception. The pioneers of which left England to come here, the pilgrims who fought not only physically, but emotionally, the toils and hardships, they settled into the soils of a land that have now become our homeland. And we care because you care. Father, we know we are only sojourners here for a short while, but while we are here, we want to make a difference. So Heavenly Father, we call upon you and we thank you for ripping off the bedsheets of those who have tried to conceal and hide. And according to Luke chapter eight, verse 17, nothing that has been hidden, nothing that has been concealed will not be revealed. It will all be revealed. It will be revealed by light because you are true light and you are going to make certain that everything that has been done and hidden and thought of not to be ever found out, it is. And we're praising you for that. And we know, God, it is for a redemptive purpose because you are not going to tolerate this type of deception anymore. Satan, who is the father of lies, is going to be found that his, his effort and work has been in vain. Father, we pray today for the word you gave me many years ago that the era of the politicians is ending and the dawn of the reformers has begun. Father, we welcome a reformation in the United States. We welcome the spawning of fire-led Holy Spirit-empowered revivals, breakout revivals all throughout the land. We welcome it. Bring it, Lord, we pray, in its fullness. In Jesus' name we ask. Father, we pray that you will continue to give godly wisdom and understanding to those in the true church, that you will continue to give the spirit of, 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 the, of the fear of the Lord so that we don't operate in the arm of flesh,
but in trembling and consideration of what it is that you, you care about and are concerned with. So Heavenly Father, we look to you now and we pray, Lord, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, restore this land which we live in, bring peace to those who are troubled, bring salvation to the households of whom we know and love, and bring restoration, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. And all God's fearing saints said, Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, until we pray again, may God bless and strengthen you. Bye for now.